Yo, what's up, Legacy Podcasters? Sorry, I just lost something. Okay, cool. We're back. So, um, Austin just went live uh, this today. And he, if you guys have any questions, that's the best way to ask me questions is through live. Um, because I'll do this. I'll answer them on my live. So, I wrote down the questions he asked and I'll answer for it for you, bro. And hopefully you guys can get some value out of this too. So, I wrote down uh, everything you went over. And I'll just go by it one by one. Uh, kind of go through it briefly and zip through this because there's a few questions you asked. <clears throat> so firstly, how much to publish? So you said you're trying to do two times a week, which I really like, but I see the problem you're running into is the system. So the way to get around that is to batch your content. So only record like one day a week, but make sure when you're recording, you record like for four hours, for five hours. What's up, Austin? Dude, you're live. Cool, cool. So when you're recording, you're probably gonna have to catch the beginning on the replay, but um, what I'm talking about now is how to publish, because you say you wanna do two times a week, how to publish more. Um, I found the best way that works for a lot of my clients that I work with is just record one day a week, but make it sure it's in a window. So, you know, four or five hours you dedicate to podcasting and you record, what's up bro? Um, and you record in those four or five hours like a bunch of episodes. So you get all your recording batched. That way it's not a daily task to record episodes. So I don't know if that answers your question as far as like um, uh, publishing and systematizing. Live dude, I love it. And content topics. I don't know if you're not publishing a lot because you don't have content ideas, but the easiest way to, to think of content is, um, and I talk about this in the course I'm gonna be releasing. You're gonna be in Nepal very soon. Um, I'm doing like a, a pilot group uh, for people right now, but you, once you figure out your audience and you figure out their desires, all you have to do is uh, attack their desires with your episodes. So your podcast becomes a desirable podcast to listen to and it becomes addicting for people because they're gonna like, yes, that's what I wanna know, that's what I wanna know, that's what I wanna know. Um, cool, cool, awesome. <clears throat> so intro, outro. Um, this is a topic where you could create your own but if you're not techie, um, I show you how to create your own in the course I'm making right now but um, so, the first, firstly, in 2018, I recommend that your intros and outros should have your voice. Some industries, they can get away with having a female's voice or a male's voice, but I think that sounds so tacky now, like, in a, and, you, and you miss out on an opportunity to brand your voice. And like, it sounds more authentic and more congruent when it's your voice and your intro. A lot of the big guys in podcasting do that, and that's why. Um, so I hate having someone else do your show intro voice. What's up, Felicia? What's up, Kyle? Hold up, uh, I gotta stop, turn off the stove real quick, one sec. All right, sorry about that. So show intro, outro, if that makes sense, let me know, uh, Austin, for the show intro, outro. Um, as far as the content in your intro, what you say, um, it should really be your big picture and why you started this, make it less than 30 seconds, don't make an intro that long. Um, and should, it should be, uh, so listen to, I, I like to imitate people who are already doing a good show. So figure out people in your industry, like Steven Larson, I'm sure you know him, he's one of my clients. Like listen to what he, how he does his intro, like that's the best way to do an intro, uh, how Steven does it. Um, how to systematize work, I'm gonna go over that in my, in my course, that's very, comp it's not complicated, but it's a process, because you know, you could hire someone else to do all that for you, but it just depends, like what's your budget, dude? Like are you working on a budget, or are you trying to do it yourself, um, and then, if you, are, if you wanna do it like in-house, like have your own VA that you already have do it, um, having the SOPs and stuff created for them, or if you wanna outsource that to like an agency, like something that I do or someone else does, like depends on your budget is, dude, for that. Because um, I know you, like, I know your time's valuable. Like you do like high level work, so. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, ask me, or if you have any opinions. Uh, uh, show structure. Yeah, you're working on a budget, everyone is, dude. Uh, and uh, it's special, definitely in the start when you don't have money coming in from the podcast. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be, that's, that's a little more complicated and I'm going to be going over that like in my pilot program, but, um, show structure. So I like to start the beginner, the beginning, I like to do a teaser. So whether it's an interview and it's an epic interview, um, do like a quick, like uh, 10 seconds to 30 seconds to sometimes a minute teaser of the interview. That's like the best part of it. So people want to listen on or it could be uh, just if it's not an interview, it could be just your voice saying, all right, I just do. I like doing an introduction. So this is episode five and we're going to talk about uh, how this does this. So how blank solves this um, and that gets people listening on and then you do your show intro 
and then you do another episode intro if it depending if it's just a solo episode you don't have to do another episode intro you can just but if it's an interview you want to pre-frame people because there might be something in the interview that people like but it's like towards the end of the interview so you want to be like all right i have this per awesome person and we're going to talk about blank 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 so that people are pre-framed and they want to continue and listen on <clears throat> definitely want to know how to get results we'll talk about that um how to get guests with zero with zero following um so the reality is dude <laughs> the biggest people like you're not gonna get guests with zero following because they value their time um i know like russell brunson and tony robbins you can get their time but you have to pay for it so you have to like donate to their chair to their favorite charity or something and then they'll give you like five minutes or ten minutes or something but in the in the start dude i don't want you to get big guests to be honest because you're probably gonna mess it up and i don't mean that in a bad way it's that you don't have your voice yet or your cadence down um and you want to make sure it's like perfect you, have, you know the best questions to ask, you do your research. So in the beginning, like there's a lot of mic, like even some podcasts I launched recently, there's like get micro influencers. So people who are, have Amazon bestsellers, people who have eBooks, um, people who are uh, influencers on Instagram, on Facebook groups. Like there's so many guests you can get out there that are in your topic that will make good content and it'll allow you to get good at your craft and good at asking questions. Um, the top three questions and I tell it every, so episode structure. So I usually like to have the start of the episode be um, the story, like the first half be about their story, but you don't want to just get into their story because then people are going to be like, why do I care about this guy's story? So you want to like, uh, in the beginning of the interview, be like, uh, list out your accomplishments and like, why should people listen to the rest of the episode? Like, what are we going to talk about? Then get into their story. And in the last part of it, depending on who you're talking to, that can be more educational and more like value, value. How many episodes about till I find my voice? It depends, bro. It could be your first episode. Some people, it could be 30 episodes, 60. It, does, it depends. Like, <laughs> I mean, do you do YouTube videos already? Because you might already have your voice. You might already know, like, be comfortable in a flowing state um, in an interview, you know, like having a back and forth. So after the, actually, I skipped this part. After the episode introduction, after the show intro, I like to do a listener connection. So before you do your solo episode or the juice, like the main part, I do a listener connection. And that's the cool, this is the this is where the money's at. Because this is where you're going to, I have it written down here. Um, highlight people for taking action, positive action and encourage others to do the same. So there's a lot of ways to do that. Um, if people are reviewing you on uh, iTunes, highlight them and, get, and give them a shout out. Because you know when you get shouted out on something, like you just feel special. Like you got to do that for your audience. Because that encourages them to engage outside of the podcast. So another way is... Um, if someone's in your Facebook group and they're, uh, if there's a community discussion, highlight that in the first minute or something and talk about it. Or if you like, and be like, hey guys, I don't know, I want to know your opinion. Shoot out, show it in the Facebook group, group and uh, give me your opinion. Or um, you can do user submitted questions in the first uh, bit of the episode and answer questions in the first bit. Um, and this is gonna, like, let's say you have a course or something or you're selling something, do case studies before. Um, the episode and be like, hey, I just wanted to highlight this person who did this and took action because then that's going to highlight you as someone who's good, who's like, it's going to give you credibility, but it's also going to highlight people like and tell people about what you're doing without being salesy. It's just you're telling them what's going on in the world. So uh, I love listener connections before the big, like in the beginning of the episode. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys have any other questions, I think I, I don't know if I, if I missed something from your questions. Um, Content topics. Did I miss anything, dude? Uh, interview questions to ask. Um, there's a, like I said, you can honestly, like, if you're looking for specific questions to ask, you can just look on Google and find tons of questions. I'm not going to just go over those right now. But I like to start with the story and then the juice, like getting into why people are listening to the episode, the value, because um, you want people to walk away with value. And uh, my three favorite questions to ask. I've asked tons of questions. These are always my three is uh, number one. What is your favorite book? Like what is the book that changed your life the most? Cause that is, a, I want to know that because I don't want to, I hate browsing for books. I want people who are successful. Like what is your number one book, you know? And then that'll be very valuable for people. Um, number two, who's the person that changed your life the most? Cause I want to know people who are doing big things and like impacting people's lives. Cause if someone says someone changed your life the most and they're probably a uh, really important person. Maybe that could be a featured guest or something. And then number three, what is the event that changed your life the most? And by event, I mean like, you know, if you went to, for me, it was Funnel Hacking Live. Like that changed my life a lot. Um, and Nomad Summit, 
who I met, one of my first mentors there, Johnny FD, he was like, he helped me with my e-commerce stores way back in the day when I was just doing e-com and I was living in Thailand for like a year. Um, so stuff like that. So those are my favorite three questions to ask people. I usually say those for the end. Um, but do you, if you have any more questions, Austin, I'll be glad to help you. Um, a lot of the things I talked about are complicated and require a little more of a process to teach you guys, which I'm going to be showing in my pilot program uh, that I'm going to be releasing soon. You should listen and dissect one of my episodes and tell me what I did right or wrong. That would be sick. Boom. I'll do that. I'll do that uh, probably tomorrow, actually. I could do it tomorrow because uh, I don't think I, I have someone coming live on here soon. Um, actually, I had someone really cool, Andrew Deich. He has like a, he's killing it with podcast game right now. I'm going to interview him. He's getting some big, big guests. Um, I'm either going to, I was going to interview him tomorrow, but my cable broke from my mic. So, and I want to make this really good quality because I'm going to put it on my podcast. So I'm going to interview him on, on Friday. On Wednesday, I'm going to interview a big guy who's, he, ho he uh, does the podcast for someone who has like millions of downloads. Uh, what's up, Lindsay? What up, bro? Dude, I saw you were going live, but I went live at the same time. So I couldn't catch you. Uh, I'll check that out. Um, so yeah, I'm in my program. I'm gonna be talking about all that. Uh, what question did you have? Yeah, I'll review your episode tomorrow, bro. Um, just give me, shoot me the name of the podcast. And uh, if anyone else is watching this, like, put in the group. Like, feel free to make a post and uh, post your podcast, and I'll audit it for you. Um, don't send me a direct message. Put it in the group. Be like, hey guys, because someone else might have an opinion on your podcast, or someone else might be like, hey, that's a cool podcast. I want to be on that podcast. So. Um, if you want me to check out your podcast, put it a comment in the group, not in this live, put it in the group, do a post and I'll check it out. Listen to your interview with Marie. Yeah, dude, dude, me and Marie, uh, we're going to JV on some stuff soon. Um, keep that under wraps. Uh, but we want to, we want we want to create something cool. Um, yeah, guys, if you have any more questions, let me know. Um, Felicia, you're awesome. Uh, I'm so sorry, actually. I'll, I'm going to review your podcast next after, after Austin because I <laughs> there's so many podcasts I've been listening to lately. My head's going to explode. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, is there a link for the course? Dude, I'm building it out right now. Um, it's a beta group. So I'm, I'm going to film the first two modules. So the planning and the branding. And then I'm going to take people in. And then I'm going to show you guys live how I do the recording, how I do the launch process, like my calendar. Um, Everything and then uh, how you grow, like how you build an audience, what's the best ways I found to build an audience. Um, and all the scripts I use to, to get guests. Um, for Because people don't like, if you have a podcast, you have to have a press package. You have to have something, if you want because you want to be interviewed on other podcasts to grow your audience. So you have to have something like a page on your website that gives everything, uh, gives people everything that they need, like your headshot, your biography, what you're going to talk about. Because then that makes marketing easier for them. Like that makes it easier for people to market you, you know? So I'll be going over all that refining my voice right now it's fine just get comfortable and, and do it uh cool guys um my eggs are done and I'm, i haven't yeah i haven't eaten all day guys it's nine o'clock like that's how like on fire i've been um now i'm talking to teachers awesome 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 you should uh you don't you could talk to more than teachers too felicia you could talk to people who are like higher up like you know district or, you know, professors or stuff like that. Like, you know, shoot for the sky. Like, I know it's very easy to get professors on interviews because they're very, they have boring lives. So, um, yeah. And also, the, another way I didn't mention, like, how to get good guests is positioning yourself. So, if you make it, like, and I talk about this, like, if you have your branding good and, like, everything looks good and solid, like, people would want to get on your podcast, um, no matter if you're at zero. Because um, it's just it, the the power in the word podcast right now is just so insane, like it just works. Um, cool. All right, guys. Uh, I'm almost out of steam here, so that's my audience right now. Awesome. Oh, that's your audience. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right, guys. Peace out. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, if you want to check your podcast, just throw it as a post in the group, and then other people can check it too. And uh, peace out, Austin. Thanks for the live, bro. If you guys want questions answered, uh, do it in a live. Um, I'm gonna. If you're made it this far, give me hashtag Showtime, hashtag Showtime, hashtag Replay, and uh, Felicia, love you. Peace out, guys.